Uh, Juan, did you learn anything after doing the Derby last year uh, that helps you win this year? Do you make any adjustments in that sense? Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I, I learned a couple of things that I don't have to only pull the ball. I can go either way, in and out, and I can go left, center, right, everywhere, because every, uh, I figured I'll have the power to hit the ball that way. So I uh, just try to square up the balls and see how far it lands. Juan, you had a busy day. If you answered a lot of questions about your contract, you come out here, you win this thing in three rounds. Uh, how would you describe your day start to finish? <laughs> I'm a lone survivor. <laughs> I've been going through all this stuff, and I'm still here standing up and with my chin up all the time. And that shows you I can go through anything. Think of Julio uh, Rodriguez. What, what stands out to you about him? I mean, he's an amazing young talent player, and what he do is he's just amazing. Uh, how how many homers is he in the first round? First of all, he helped me out a little bit because <laughs> he get tired, but definitely he's just an amazing player and he can do it all. You have the longest home run of the competition, 482 feet. Can you describe <laughs> what the feeling is like when you connect with the baseball and hit it that far and that hard? It feels good and it feels bad at the same time because you hit it, but you don't have the time to see it, how far it lands. <laughs> but it feels really amazing uh, at the end of the day when you see the videos and see how far it lands. It, it's just amazing, really impressive what, what my skills can do. You hit that last home run and uh, dropped to one knee, then flipped your bat up uh, pretty high. Just what was uh, the emotions going through your mind as you saw the ball go over the fence and you realized you won the thing? <laughs> when I went on the knee, I was I was looking for power to flip my bat because I have no power at all. Uh, but yeah, then when I saw the ball lands and goes, uh, it just feel amazing. I saw the scoreboard just change and show you the champion. It was it just feel amazing when I saw that. Uh, one with uh, Albert getting one more shot in the spotlight, and and you and Julio with the stage at the end. What what did this night kind of mean for baseball overall? It means a lot. Uh, he shows you what the generation we have coming up soon. Uh, all the players uh, that we have uh, that is coming up and the future players that is in the minor leagues that they're coming up soon. It shows you that they have a lot of talent and they're ready to play baseball. And what will this night mean for uh, back in the Dominican just with all three of you guys having such a huge night? In Dominican, uh, uh, I know all the people are really proud. Uh, they've been putting attention to all these and they've been praying a lot for all these. Uh, since we all three were in in like in the finals, three Dominicans, it just it just showed you it, it was a win for the DR. So we feel pretty proud about it. Getting back to Albert, what was it like to go head to head with him in the semifinals? And can you talk about that moment where all the All Stars came out on the field and gave him that communal hug? Oh, that was a really special moment. Uh, I was sitting down, and even my BP thrower, he was telling me about it. Like, he he can be his last uh, home run derby and All-Star game, so we should be there for him and giving him some power so he keep going. Because we all know his skills are going down a little bit, but when you cheer for him and give him that positive energy, the things can change. And he showed it up after that and winning that round. It was just amazing. Whenever when all the guys came in, giving that good vibes and good energy, and I think it was a special moment for him, and even for ourselves uh, to see the legend to go like that. Uh, for me, going head to head with him is just amazing feeling. You know, uh, I even asked starting Marte if I should be him or let him be him, <laughs> but. Uh, just by the respect, uh, I respect him a lot. Uh, either that I beat him, but at the end of the day, he's just a competition, and he knows how much I, I'm. I'm proud of him and how much, how much, uh, how much talent he brings to all the older generations and advices that he gives to us.